Yeah. Which reminds me, by the way, if I ask you to play a game, John, yeah. would you, with the three Bond girls in this movie, bang, marry, kill, how would you go on this list? I hope uh, all your subscribers are really excited about this highbrow conversation they're about to hear. <laughs> <laughs> episode number three in the lead up to No Time to Die. And today we're discussing the Bond girls, John. We're getting on to the good subjects now. The Bond girls in No Time to Die. How do you feel about this subject this time? Uh, some, some good, some bad. That's the, that's the thing, isn't it? With, um, with, you know, if you think about the three Bond girls in this movie, we talked about this before. We talked a little bit about the whole Lashana controversy in episode mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Um, so we know our gripes with her. But uh, I do feel she's, she's the one out of these three with the, with the most screen time. She's going to be the, main, the yeah. main one. And the one we want to be the main one, well, I can't speak for you, but I think you agree. It's under the armors, who I feel will only get the blue dress 10 minutes scene, and then um, she'll be gone, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't think I've seen, like, all the pictures I've seen of her, she's just wearing that, that dress. So I so imagine it's just going to be that, that one it. scene. Yeah. Which, which uh, I, uh, yeah, that's such a shame, isn't it? Because it's like they've, they kept using these these interesting uh, actresses throughout the Craig era with so limited screen time. Like you look at Bayna Reese, at least he got some scenes, but mm -hmm. he definitely wanted more of her. Well, like Monica she, Bellucci as well. Just because like she's got like one scene, she might be the the, the best Bond girl out of all three of them. Forget like how much time, screen time she has, or she gets. Yeah. It could be the the best scene, the best character out of it she could be just be like really quick say boy i really wish she would stick around more she's gone and then like you get yes it's sort of like what what happened with monica bellucci yeah she was a lot more compelling in her short little time than they I... say do throughout that whole exactly spectrum. so but i think she'll fa fall in line with ben Arise and uh, uh luciana uh, lucia schiara uh, monica bellucci so she's going to be one of those unfortunately yeah and I wish it was the other way around, where Lashana would just get a little, uh, little screen time, and we have Anna the Armas as the main attraction. Yeah, it seems like um, Lashana will be a, almost like, um, like a Wei Lin character or um, uh, uh, or Jinx, where like you know she she ends up teaming up with Bond, probably more like Wei Lin. They're probably not going to have any any kind of sexual um, moments. Between no. them throughout the whole movie, no, it's just I can't be see that of... happening because that that would because we it happened with Jinx and Wei Lin, and they they kept their strong female leads, so to speak. With Jinx, is arguable, but you know they they kept it. But we, as soon as as Bond goes there with Lashana, that whole essence of her being the strong female lead that repels Bond and stuff is is gone. As soon as he bangs her, it's that's. So they so he can't do that. Yeah. I, I can't see that happen at all. It's just it's just gonna be partners, partners. Yeah, they're gonna they're be not, partners. They're not gonna have any. I I don't I can't imagine like them having any um any kind of sex go on, especially yeah. like if he's mourning or, or still hung up on um uh Leia do the Madeline. Then all of a sudden him jumping uh, alongside uh, Nomi and having sex with her. It doesn't seem like it would it would gel like it. I, I think there's 
that's because there's, there's so much statement surrounding her. I don't think, the, you know, you know how Bond always calls the, get the girl out, you know, they're, they're always the girls, get the girl mm -hmm. out. Not even that is going to be around. He's not going to call her the girl, you know, she's going to be the lady. She's going to be the, the, the big strong lead, so to speak. She might take the more of the leader role. Yeah. Like in, in their partnership, I guess. Yeah. It's like she's she's the double O. She has all the access to the equipment, the information. She's going to like sit in the back bond. I'll drive, you know. Yeah. And she's going to outsmart him. So I hope um, it doesn't come at the cost of Bond's masculinity, so to speak. I know I sound like a complete uh, maybe a jerk saying that, but I hope it doesn't come at the cost of Bond. Like the, oh, the, like uh, the demasculating of him. Stay out of my lane, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just hope we we because yeah, again we haven't seen the movie, but that's my prediction is I, I as soon as he shows up, I'll be annoyed, and that won't change until I, like, I don't. I know. See humor, like so. there, there are a lot of like the Bond movies. I like seeing Bond work by himself, and I know like, or at least I'm expecting like that last bit in the movie. When he goes into the big bad guy's hideout, he's not going to be alone. He's going to be yeah. partnered up with um, Nomi the whole time. Will it work? Eh, I mean, we'll see. So I do, I do like the moments where a Bond girl can outsmart Bond, like you know, with Wei Lin, like when Bond couldn't read the uh, keyboard. Oh the yeah. Until, uh, and you know, or stuff like uh, you know, Bond wouldn't know what to do, and then the girl knows. You know, he needs the girl. That that's fine. But with Lashana, it just seems on a different level. I I love s strong female leads. It's not like they all. Yeah. We don't want damsels in distress, so it's fine that she's a strong character. It's just uh, it seems to come at the cost of him a little bit. But yeah, I I, I hope he, he, like he's the hero, so like he should be able to save the girl. He should be able to kill the bad guy. It shouldn't be, you know, taken away from him and given to like another supporting, supporting character in the movie. Like he, he, he should be able to, he's the hero. He should do have heroic moments. Right. I don't know. It's, I mean, I, I don't think it's bad when like, you know, Roger Moore saves triple X, from the submarine he's the hero it's his movie like he, he should be doing that it doesn't yeah. it doesn't really lessen my opinion of triple x saying oh she's so weak most of the the bond girls in the history need to be saved at some point have to be rescued right. he has to go in and save them but like that doesn't you know negate their their character it's just their role like yeah it's part of their, their those, role those, in, those like, were the old films. days were like stuff like right that roger moore did like you you can't imagine craig quickly uh, shoving Lashana under the sheets, and then Madeline walks in, and then oh, he yeah. has to put Lashana in the closet <laughs> and wait for her turn. Yeah, <laughs> that, was that kind no, of stuff. You won't we're not see seeing that scene. <laughs> no. uh, well, uh, but your, your turn will come, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> With the three Bond girls in this movie, bang, marry, kill. Okay. Bang, so, marry, kill. I, I think kill. Sorry, Lashana. Yeah. She's she's going to be killed, so it's between Anna and Leia. I think I would F Leia and then marry Anna de Armas, because I'd want to keep her around, because she's just so good looking. Uh, yeah. That'd be my rationale. Yeah. How about you? Now, bang, marry, kill the No Time to Tie girls. What would you I, say? I have to go, because I've, I've been thinking about this just now myself, and that's how I would fill them in. Yeah. I'm totally kill off Lashana. Yeah. No need to marry or bang her. And then, uh, uh, you know, marry the bang thing, you would say under the armors, but then again, you want to keep her around. And she looks. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to marry like uh, Madeline, who has all the baggage with yeah, the, I... the stuff haunting her. And I, we don't know if, if uh, yeah. under the armors has characters, because she yeah. just looks good enough to. You know, if if I want would marry a girl, I would want to know, you know, basic stuff like is he working for bad guys or not, or with fast. So you, so you're 
So you're has, thinking about you're 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 uh, uh, thinking about the characters, their characters too, not just. Oh, you're just the going for the looks. Thing. Okay. Oh no, no, you do it yeah. any way you want. You could do it any. Right. There's no rules. I, I've also been thinking, um, what kind type of job do you think uh, Anna de Armas will have in this movie? Is he going to be a secret agent with the, because of the gun, or is, does he have some different function? Oh, she'll probably be like. Uh... Where 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 do we see her? Like what country? I think it's it? either Cuba or Jamaica. I think it's Cuba. So she'll be like, uh, she's not going to be a bad person, right? She's not going to be a so. bad character. She's going to be a good. I think the Craig movies will end up being. They they're never have been femme fatales in the Craig yeah, movies. Yeah, they they can't. And they're not going to do it. Because that, that that wouldn't be a good role model. For women, we're not going to get another Xenia on the top in the Craig yeah. movies. I think. So you can't, you can't, you can't have her bad and like you know she's going to be a, a good character. Maybe she'll be working for uh, those agents that um, like she's stationed here, working in the vicinity of uh, Safin, one of his underlings. Yeah. That like she's undercover or something. I, yeah, that's 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 the feeling I get with it as well. She is definitely involved within the plot and i think she's definitely on the good guy's side I, I, in the trailer i think you can that she's working with bond i don't think you see her shooting at bonds he's not one of the she's definitely not a bad chick i think mm. yeah I, I agree i also get the feeling that there's an agency thing going on with her she might be you know i don't think there's any a cuban intelligence in the world but there then she is cuban in real life isn't she Anna de Armas. Um. Well, you're you're more of a fan with her of her than me. Uh, right? Yes, he is Cuban in real life, like I thought, and I think they meet in Cuba as well. So she's probably playing a real Cuban. Wasn't her part? Didn't wasn't that like one of the last minute additions to the script? They uh, Fukunaga wanted a part for her, and they kind of just wrote this part in for her, kind of. Oh, did oh, later, I don't know. later in the um, later in the shooting script. I don't know. I've never heard about it, but I, it, I seems, I read a blurb it about seems it could be true. Yeah, I know you. Because if that was the case, then it's no surprise why she'd have such short screen time. Yeah. Because she was in addition, and then she probably just she's there. She's a, some kind of good a good character, and she relays some information to Bond, gets to participate in an action scene real quick, and then like she's gone. You know, it could be true because I remember. Um, in that Jamaica press conference where the whole cast was brought together for the first time. Oh, yeah. And she was asked about her role. She had no clue yet, I think. She had no clue no, yet. I... So I think a lot of it was still going to be written in. So she may, have, may indeed have been a last-minute addition, uh, like you said. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, what was this topic? Women? The Bond girls. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, do you do you expect Bond to sleep with any of these in the movie? Like, is it, is <laughs> there it is still... no sex in James Bond movies it, anymore, you know, it's, it, it, Even no, that, no. you know, it's part of the threat. But no, do you, no, do... no. <laughs> no sex. None. Yeah. Who would he but do you like? seriously think no, no, none of this will happen? Um, maybe in the beginning or a flashback or something with him and Madeline, like before all the crap goes down. Maybe yeah. we'll see them in bed or something. Um, yeah, we're really I don't think he's. Stage now. It seems like you know there's too much tension between him and Madeline to get in between the sheets for the rest of the movie. Like once all this mask stuff and her uh, Blofeld saying she's got secrets <laughs> and all this stuff, it doesn't yeah. seem like you know they're gonna. Ha uh, he's gonna have time to get her in the sheets. So and then Anna, it's just gonna be a quick action scene. Bond will probably want to get a shag in with her, but she's she's not gonna have any of it. She's got her. The, hot, the the ripped dress and stuff, and she's gonna, with the machine gun. Say, oh, see you later, Bond, and walk away. Yeah. That's gonna be yeah. her. I think. Yeah. Um, maybe in the opening credits, he's gonna be like, uh, uh, in the pre-credits, we're gonna see him in the um, in that like Jamaica hut, swigging a Hanukkah, having a, like one of the island girls awesome. over for uh, a roll in the hay. <laughs> and, like yeah. he's gonna look completely disinterested like he always does he doesn't enjoy yeah. sex you know he's just gonna be just sitting there with the thing staring yeah. off yeah. um he's just trying to use the sex to like you know wash away the memory of madeline some crazy stuff yeah, yeah. so you, you expect a lot of sex in this movie no no 
<laughs> at least at least the people won't be fed up with, with my reviews and um, I'm constantly talking about so Bond goes there and bangs this chick so you know there won't be a lot of this a lot of that in this I think but like remember like yeah. the criticism he got like when he he, he had sex with um, Severin in Skyfall yeah I know from your review but I honestly never really picked because I know you know he was a sex worker uh, yeah in her, you know, so it was kind of controversial. Honestly, I never thought about it during the movie on my initial watching. I was like, well, it's just, I, I personally, now I know about her past, it's it's pretty mm-hmm. pretty sad, but, you know, seeing later, I already forgot about it when he hopped into the shower with yeah, her, and yeah. I thought it was pretty a pretty badass moment, actually, you know, where he just totally just walks in, and then he turns out that he did survive uh, without her expectation, and he just... You know, it's not like we see any uh, eighteen plus stuff. It's kind of romantic as well, in a way, how he just walks in and you know comes in to protect her. And he's kind of using her, which I think Bond does. To women. Yeah, the, exactly. Does. It's part of the Bond character to yeah. to do that. So uh, I don't know. I, I I hope that they still have some of that stuff in. You know, we I don't need to see. Uh, x-rated stuff you know it could just be them kissing and you know like always and then on the sheet but it's part of it i think to, to have bond at least you know have a romantic interest in the movie and and some some stuff happening so i don't think it should be forbidden or anything him shagging monica inspector it didn't seem any like he didn't need to do that True, and she like, was a widow as well from the man he killed. Uh, it didn't seem like he 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 got the inf- he he could get the information out of her without um, having sex with her. I think. Yeah, I think she gave up the information before the sex, wasn't it? He was making out with her, and then like she tells him, or how did he find yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, the, the Palazzo Cortesa or something, and then no, I think a lot of it happened. A lot of the information did did come at the end of the sex. Oh, okay. When he's oh, so he up again, I think, yeah. But um, yeah, who knows? How about um, F. Mary Kill Craig's first his first three Bond films? Oh, Lee Chicks. see, that's where it gets tough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Whew. I would probably kill Vesper, surprisingly, even though she's my favorite yeah. Bond girl. But I was thinking about the looks too, because Seferin is definitely the the one you want to yeah. want to F, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> she's but, not going uh, in the kill ca- category. For no, no, you want yeah. to keep her around. But then again, who is the one you marry? It's probably because Camille is a maybe C. Yeah. Uh, okay. Final answer. <laughs> kill Vesper. F. Camille, Mary Seferin. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's dive. Let's dive into the more serious. Okay. Matter. Yeah. So uh, we, now, in the past, one of the components of the Bond movie is a sacrificial lamb character. Right. Some an innocent that gets killed, it ups the stakes, it signals danger. You know all this stuff. Out of the three women in this film, are any of them going to be sacrificial lambs? If I have to guess, Lashana is out. She's going to stay alive, I think. Mm-hmm. It, it could be the other two. Madeline, I'm, you know, because we ha- we've talked a little bit about her in the previous episode about the story over on your channel. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I can't, beforehand, I was fully expecting her to die, like I, like I said in that episode in the, in the opening. Now, I think... Out of the armors could be because he has only the one scene, you know. They mm-hmm. either they part ways and she doesn't show up again, or you know, I have a friend called Felix and she's saved, or yeah. she dies. So it, it could be her uh, this time around getting killed. I think all three. There's no chance of them dying. And all three will stay alive. Yeah. What makes you say that, though? If if like they're trying to do the, the virtue signaling and like they're really adamant about um, creating strong women characters in Bond movies, the weakest right. thing that uh, could happen is one of them dying. Yeah. No matter what, no matter in what way, how heroic or anything, it they, they don't want to kill off. Uh, uh, they wouldn't want to kill off a strong female character. 
Right. They'd, they'd leave the sacrificial lamb role to one of the gents, like Felix. Or maybe or even some, Bond. Could be you Bond. Know. Well, that'd yeah. be more than sacrificial lamb, but I, yeah. I, I don't think I, I Nomi Nomi's not gonna Nomi's not gonna get iced. Nomi, not no. I'm right out of the gate because if she did get iced, that means his 007 um, number would be available to him, uh, and it's gonna be left up in the air. Maybe he can get it. He's not gonna get it back. That's it. She's gonna she she starts as 007 in the movie, and she's gonna end as 007. In the movie. That's th- that's my prediction as well. Uh, um, but yeah, Madeline, I'm not sure. Madeline, she might stay alive. But yeah. I, I, the the only way like they the only way they could give like Bond a happy ending in this would be him to go off with Madeline again, no? Yeah. Like live happily ever like which we saw in the last movie, but we're gonna do it again. Uh if right. she dies, then like he's gonna be another crushed former soldier, you know going back living on a beach hut again yeah which they, we've seen that already and like he's redeemed himself it would just end on that note <laughs> this yeah time. um anna she's gonna have a, a cool action scene and she's gonna walk away uh unscathed like monica bellucci you know i can't see that happening she does look really badass with the uzis yeah. you know the machine guns um the black dress yeah, you know, who knows? You could just turn up, shoot crap, and kick ass, and, yeah. and you know, yeah. get out. Watch your back, Bond. Be safe. Yeah. And then she's going to walk off, and that's it. Yep, and then she yeah. just loads the gun and takes off. I don't know. It's just that, that I mean, those story. are my predi- Maybe Maybe they'll, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll change it up and do something different, but if I had to predict... Yeah, because I think they the they make the statement with Lashana alone enough, like female characters, and you know they have the the uh, upside, like you know she's a black female character, so that makes her even more more of a statement nowadays politically. So I think like they have enough power there to show strong f- uh, femininity that they could still kill off someone em- emotionally, like Madeline or. Maybe on the armors, but who knows? You could be right. Um, yeah. Yeah, who knows? Maybe they all will stay alive. <clears throat> yeah. So, born girls, any any last uh, any last thoughts you want to share before we round this up? Um, yeah. Bang, Mary, kill Dalton's chicks. Yeah, that would be um, kill Pam. Mm-hmm. Even though she's probably the most trustworthy and strongest one you would want on your side, but um bang to lisa and uh mary mariam davo uh Carol. really that... well because because i'm i'm solely going on uh physical here because and usually I, I you know i'm into the brunettes mostly uh, but my um, i think cara really has something the brown eyes they stand wow. out on there yeah this was a surprise yeah, I, I would have said marry Talisa, but you can't trust her. <laughs> no way. Wow. It will just be um, a hit and run, basically. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> just, yeah, we're, we're terrible.